What's up, fight friends? This is Pool Counter Boxing. Here to spit that boxing truth on you. Now, I'm here to wonder who is Bud Crawford going to fight? Now, Bud Crawford is an excellent talent. He's pound for pound, number one boxer in the world. But he is not fighting the top welterweights. Just let that sink in for a moment. Bud Crawford is not fighting the top welterweights. And that's not in boxing tradition. This is uh, part of some new wave uh, ducking, pecking order that's going on in boxing today. And what I mean by that is, you take a look at Ryan Garcia, you take a look at Javante Davis, you take a look at Carl Frampton, Leo Santa Cruz, Canelo, you know, all these guys are ducking the best in different divisions that they're rising up in. And, you know, Gary Russell right now can't get a fight. You know, look at uh, Devin Haney. Devin Haney can't get a fight because fighters are avoiding the styles that they have difficulty with. That's not boxing. No, that's not boxing. You know, that's changing the sport into something else. And a lot of people put this on Floyd Mayweather. And I don't think that's fair. And I don't think that's fair is because Floyd fought his battles. He fought his champions in their prime. And people will tell a little bit of the truth and leave the rest out. But people and casuals who don't really follow the sport, that's all they hear. You know, oh, Floyd Mayweather, he cherry-picked. No, but they don't tell you about Pretty Boy Floyd, who fought those those hard fights with Zab Judah and... Um, you know, Castillo, Castillo, I think his name was, Hernandez, you know, all these kind of fights, Corey, um, Corey, um, what's his name, Corey Spinks, I think, something like that, but he had some difficult fights, Emmanuel Augustus, and the list goes on and on, you know, they just act like those fights never happened, you know, not, not like Canelo, Canelo fought some second-rate fights, you know, some second-rate fighters, you know, uh, you know, and he left the, the very best. He did not fight the very best. And and once he saw that real talent come along, you know, he dropped belts and, you know, he went into Witness Protection Agency, which is special in itself. Then the nigga come back. He comes back and pick up the belts that that was stripped from certain champions like Andrade and, and uh, David Benavidez, he comes back and he grabs those belts. You know, he wouldn't face them, but he wait for them to get stripped to come swooping in. Da 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 da. You know, Captain Canelo, the greatest face of boxing, pound for pound super champion. And I'm just looking at boxing like what is going on and then you got you got boxing fans out here co-signing on this stuff and I'm just like what is this this is not boxing this is not boxing you know this is uh, people who need a hero co-signing on some bull that's what this is so getting back on my point, which is we're looking at Terrence Crawford and he's on some bull because he should be going straight for the top welterweights before his last four fights. He's been fighting off brand welterweights. No, bro. No, you, you're supposed to be a top dog. You're supposed to be fighting, you know, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, and Errol Spence. Then you can retire. Then you then you can make it to the Hall of Fame. All that stuff that you've done 
at 135. Okay, I get credit for 135 because uh, that guy you beat down there was pretty tough. Uh, Ricky, what was his name? Ricky something. But I saw that fight. It was pretty good. But the next way you where you got undisputed in Dongo. In Dongo, I don't think so. I can't. I can't do it. You know. Yeah, you didn't really fight no killers there. And I'm, you know, not just to dismiss, you know, your work down there, but you didn't have any competition. Danny Garcia moved up to 147. That cleared out 140 for, for the pickings for you. And you had an easy route. And then you come up to 147. You said you wanted to fight Keith Thurman. You didn't fight Keith Thurman. You didn't fight Danny Garcia, who you said you wanted. And you chased Manny Pacquiao for seven years. Manny Pacquiao, who don't want to fight you. So what do you do? You use him as an excuse so you don't have to fight the other welterweights. So it's now becoming like a running joke. Every time you get to the end of your contract, Bob pulls up Manny Pacquiao. And we all know that you're not going to fight him and you're going to re-sign with top rank. And what I have peaked, and that's just me, that you're never going to fight the rest of the heavyweight, the rest of the welterweights. That's just not what you want to do. You want to retire fighting B-level fighters and your fans are going to cover for you because they're just fans of yours. And you're 34, man. You're about to get about the sport. So, I hope they keep that in mind, what they're going to do post Bud Crawford, you know, because boxing still is going to be here when Spence and um, Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia, them gone, it's still, it, you know, it's still going to be here, and what are they going to do then, they're going to go watch basketball, football, or tennis, whatever it is that, you know, they liked outside sport, I wish they would go to that now. And leave boxing to the boxing purists like myself. But what I would like to see is Bud Crawford fight Sean Porter. And I think everybody is aware of that. That Sean Porter is the biggest threat right now to Bud Crawford. Because he's his mandatory. You know, he jumped he would jump in the fight Green Machine. You know, because he, he knew he had a chance to destroy me, Machine, because he wasn't on his level. But now we have an A-lister as his mandatory. He's not interested because he don't want a hard fight. Bud Crawford saw Sean Porter give Errol Spence pure hell. He rained hell on Errol Spence. And El Spence just pulled it out. You think Bud wants that kind of smoke after seeing the competition he fought? Hell to the no. He just saw he just saw a baboon, you know, break the chain and and attack Errol Spence. He, I mean Sean Porter is a damn baboon. And you know, no racist stuff, you know, don't don't Try to do the council culture thing on me. But y'all know what I mean. Y'all saw that fight. I, that fight was off the chain. He was all over Errol Spence. And I don't think Porter can deal with that. You know, to tell you the truth. Because he haven't given us anything to really rate him at 147. Can't rate him fighting all those B fighters. Amir Khan, Kell Brook, washed up. You know, the mother guys, I don't even, who, who even know who they are? You know, and we watch boxing every day. Hardcore boxing fans don't even know who, who they are. And he's crying around here about how you don't get any credit. Well, buddy, you don't get credit unless you beat the best. And you're not trying to fight the best. So who are you going to fight, man? You going to fight Sean Porter or are you going to retire? Yeah, this poor kind of boxer, man, and that's been my spiel. Hit the subscribe button, bell, so you can receive notification.
Thank you very much.